Hi guys, Connor Smith here, and welcome to um, a brand new video, which is going to be the first of my countdown series. I'm thinking of doing various countdowns, including Doctor Who and Pokemon countdowns, as well as other um, subjects as well, um, which I thought would be quite a good idea. So the first countdown I'm ever going to do is um, my top 11 Doctors, which is quite a big subject, so it's going to take a few episodes to fully go for it. So um, I'm going to do part one this episode, which will go from... Doctors 11 to 8 um, of my favourite and then next time I'll do 7 to 4 and I'll do my top 3 in another video. So um, we may as well get started so I hope you enjoy it. Um, just before I begin um, I hope you um, respect my opinion. Everyone has their own opinion. Mine won't be the same as yours probably. Um, so yeah I hope you respect it and enjoy the video. So here we go. Number 11 for me is William Hartnell. Now, I hardly watched any of William Hartnell's episodes, um, but the ones I did watch him in, um, I just felt he was um, quite harsh as a Doctor. I mean, as the series went on, he did mellow a bit, but I felt it gave um, a very grumpy depiction of the Doctor when I thought he could have been a nice, kindly fellow to start with, um, even though um, the actor really is, um, or was, before he passed away. But um, William Hartnell... Um, like, he brought the show in a brand new light at once it began. And, um, he played sort of an anti-hero at the start. And didn't seem like the big hero that everyone, um, that he went on to be as the Doctor. Um, which may set a dark edge on the Doctor. Like, in one of the episodes, he tried to, um, hurt a caveman because he was, um, keeping the group behind. Um, but obviously this, um, attitude changed and he became much better Doctor later on. The main reason why he's this low down is because um, he, I hardly ever got to experience him that well. And when I did, um, he wasn't just the best doctor for me. But even so, he started the series and he's still a good doctor. So, um, William Hartnell's number 11. Number 10 for me is Sylvester McCoy. Now, Sylvester McCoy was the seventh doctor. Um, and the main reason why he's here on the list is because... Um, at the start of the series, he's like more of a, um, he acts like a clown, he's a very fun character, he um, kind of messes around with his um, companions, and seems to be quite a funny character. But for some reason, changes and um, becomes more of a darker character later on. And it's such a sudden transition, you don't see the progression, it's just clown, then dark, and it's just quite a weird transition. Nevertheless, he did have some good stories such as Survival, Remembrance of the Daleks, um, among others, which I did enjoy. And um, despite um, this, I think he was a good Doctor, but some, but because of the rapid decline of the show anyway, um, I just don't think he was a favourite to many people as well as me. So Sylvester so McCoy is number 10. Number 9 is Colin Baker. Um, to many people, Colin Baker is um, a lot of people's least favourite Doctor. Um, this is mainly because the show really um, went down in the 80s um, and got less and less popular. But not, not much of this was Colin Baker's fault. And whereas lots of people do blame him for this, which I think is quite unfair. Because although he was quite a quirky doctor and his costume was a bit outrageous and some of the things he did was a bit um, weird as the doctor, um, he did have a lot of good stories. Um, many actually, Vengeance of Varos, um, uh, Mark of the Rani, um, um, Attack of the Cybermen, Revelation of the Daleks, The Two Doctors, those are great stories. And um, I don't think he's as bad as people remember him. I think he was a good Doctor. Um, but still, he isn't my favourite because I think he was more outrageous than he should have been. But I think he was still a good Doctor. So yeah, Colin Baker's number nine. And the final one for this episode, number eight, is Christopher Eccleston. Christopher Eccleston is the first Doctor on the list from the revived series. Now, Christopher Eccleston um, was only around for one series, so we didn't see much character development from him, which would have been nicer to see um, a change of um, like development in his character, but we didn't get much of it because he was only in for one series, which is a shame. But despite this, um, he played the role quite well, but I just don't think we saw um, enough... Um, um, changing him and development for him to be high on the list. So um, that's where Chris Ferguson is. Um, but he still is a good doctor. So um, 
fair play to him. So yeah, so that's it for this episode. So um, William Hartnell was 11th, um, Sylvester McCoy was 10th, Colin Baker was 9th, and Chris Ferguson was 8th. So in the next episode, I'll be going from my favourite Doctor number 7 to my favourite Doctor number 4. Um, it's just that um, I don't have much memory or time where I want to do all 11 Doctors in this episode. And as I go on, I'll have more details for each Doctor. So thank you very much for watching this first part. And um, please rate, comment and subscribe. And um, I'll see you in the next video. So thank you very much guys. And see you next time.